questions about Georgia's number one ranking as the best place to do business. Channel 2's Lori Geary joins us now live from the newsroom. And Lori found out how much taxpayer money the state pays to advertise in the magazine that gave that ranking. Lori? Governor Deal boasted about this number one ranking started back in November and has used it ever since to tout himself as the governor who can bring jobs to Georgia. But now his political opponents are saying that ranking came at a price to taxpayers. For the first time ever, Georgia ranks number one in the United States as the place to do business. You'll hear that ranking from Site Selection Magazine many times in campaign ads and on the trail with the Republican Governor Nathan Deal. But now his opponents, Republican and Democrat, question that ranking because the state is spending taxpayer money to advertise in the publication. We asked and found out in 2010, Georgia shelled out $25,000 to the magazine. None in 2011, more than 8000 in 2012, and the most last year, 42000 when Georgia got the number one ranking. Nathan really has two key issues about being governor, truth and transparency. And now it's turned out that his fundamental campaign strategy built around this magazine is a complete hoax. It doesn't make sense to me uh, to, to base your entire campaign on a, a single magazine article, and especially when the taxpayers have paid so much to get it. A Governor Deal spokesman said this is not a campaign issue and pointed us to Georgia's commissioner for the Department of Economic Development. It's simply not true. The rankings are the rankings. It's jobs, it's about investment, it's about workforce and a tax environment. Commissioner Chris Carr points out Georgia gets national recognition from other trade publications as well. We spend money because we want to market Georgia. And we Deal's opponents on both sides of the aisle aren't buying that argument. Us business people knew the magazine was a joke to begin with. It's got a little over 200 paid subscribers. It does raise the question as to why uh, we're spending so much in a magazine that nobody reads. Commissioner Carr says the reason they advertise in Site Selection magazine is because the folks who make key decisions on relocating major companies are the ones who subscribe. Reporting live from the newsroom, Lori Geary, Channel 2 Action News. News since 5, we now have a timeline of events before and after the murder of an...